Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. I went back through the last route, fought some trainers, did a little bit of leveling up. Glavanog is 44, Bariet, uh, Coatlith, and Archilles are all at level 46. Good for them. Uh, we should be pretty set for what's whatever gym is next, hopefully. I don't know what type it's going to be. I let the children play at p being pirates and ninjas, but to tell the truth, I wish they wouldn't. Here in East Tandora, pirates are all across the oceans, and no one knows what the ninjas are up to. Really? I dodge your attacks with my ninja techniques, swift and quiet. I sneak up behind you and knock you out with my sleeping gas. Sleeping gas? I'm a fierce pirate of the sea. Yar, matey, ye slippery fish. I'll cut you with my cutlass. That seems pretty violent. Ah, but you know, kids will be kids. Anyways, we're picking up where we left off. We had just gotten to this city, whatever this city is called. Silverport Town. I think there's a gym here. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what kind of gym it's going to be. We've already had the beach gym, so I don't think there's going to be another water gym, but you never know. I mean, that beach gym had two water types and, like, ground types, didn't it? Sometimes, when I've been sailing the seas for too long, I'll hear the sweet voice of a lady calling out to me. Uh-huh. To catch a rare Daikatuna, you have to use a metal fishing line and special bait. Otherwise, their sword will cut right through. Guess that makes sense. What's a trainer like you doing in Silverport? You must be looking for the next gym. That's in Snowbank Town to the east. Oh, we've still got to go further. So it's going to be an ice-type gym, which means Kotalith is going to be totally worthless. Silverport was founded as a fishing outpost. Most of the residents sail out to sea each day to fish, including my husband. Good for you. So there's really nothing in this town, then, it looks like. Do you know the move Hidden Power? It is different for every Pokemon that uses it. I have the ability to look at a Pokemon and tell it it's Hidden Power. I actually really want to know this, because I do have the TM for Hidden Power. Uh, I mean, Glavanug and Coatlith are the only ones that I would want to give Hidden Power. Archilles could use Hidden Power. He's a, like, mixed attacker. Uh, Glavanug, it's Hidden Power is water. That's completely worthless. Like, legitimately. Coatlith? Uh, Electric. Ooh. An Electric-type Hidden Power. That could be pretty handy, actually, for, uh, Grass Dragon. Would that help a Grass Dragon? What would it hit? It would hit Flying Types? What else would it hit? Flying types and water types, but I have grass type moves for that. What else is electric super effective against? I'm drawing a blank. Surely electric super effects more than water and flying. What else is electric super effective against? I honestly can't remember. Well, whatever. What does uh, Achilles have? Is that all it's... I'm Googling that. Fighting type with a base power of 60? No, that's pretty worthless. I think I'm going to give... I don't use Leech Seed on with Coatlith, like, hardly at all. So I think I'm going to give him Hidden Power Electric instead of Leech Seed. That'll be good for him. Let him hit Flying Types, if nothing else. There we go. It'll let him hit Gyaradoses, because Gyarados has been giving me some trouble. Uh, I am going to be, like, trying to stealthily... Google this. How do you get into that house? That house is just like forever locked away. You can see snow starting on some of these trees. Okay. Have you seen Silverport's Pokemon Lab? They're doing some of some that that's some sort of important research there. Interesting. Is this the lab? Yeah, it is. What's happening in here then? What is this music? Pokemon Electric. Let me see what type says. What's up with that guy's hair? Ah, uh, what's a kid like you doing in the lab? Oh, I see, I see. You're a Pokemon trainer. Doing research for some professor, I imagine. Tell me, who is it that you're working for? Bambo, is it? Oh, that Ernest. I never would have thought he'd cut it as an academic. But this world is just full of surprises. You know, he and I went to the same university once, until someone spread a false rumor that I was plagiarizing work. What a nerd. Me, a genius like myself, plagiarizing the work of somebody else? The idea is preposterous. I like this music. I didn't get anything out of that blasted university anyway. That's why I founded my own private research firm with a brilliant mind like mine. One cannot let genius go to waste. Since you are Bambo's protege, I won't stop you from looking at our lab facilities. Okay. Impressive, isn't it? I'm sure it's leagues ahead of whatever you've got in your backwater town. Just don't touch anything. I expect you'll be on your way shortly. Don't tell me how to live my life. I accidentally Googled Pokemon Electron. <laughs> Pokemon Electric. Electric type. What is the electric type super effective on? More than just water and flying, isn't it? Or is it just water and flying? Maybe it is just water and flying. Yo, it is just flying and water. Wow. I thought for sure there would be some third type of super effective against. I guess not. Uh, with technology, we can clone a new Pokemon from just a tiny scrap of DNA. This method can be used to revive Pokemon that have been extinct for centuries. Very nice. We're doing research on methods of taming Pokemon. Good for you. 
Uh, a trainer from Mokitown, eh? Bembo should know better than to stick his nose in other people's business. Don't cause any trouble, kid. Screw you. To transfer a Pokemon to a new Pokeball, you have to release it and recapture it. That's too inconvenient. If only there was a way to capture Pokemon who are already in a ball. Capture machine. Uh, it seems like the Alto wants to say something to you, too. It seems like it's in considerable distress. Yeah, tell me, man. You have to help me. These people are very mean. They put me in an uncomfortable ball and poke me with things that sting. And I'm so hungry. Please, take me away from these bad humans. You. Can you understand what that Alton is saying? What is that device in your hand? Uh-oh. Oh, ho, very interesting. This looks to me like the Pokemon speech translation machine that's in development at Cypress Labs. It's clunky and inconvenient, so it must only be a prototype. Still, to have the power to understand exactly what Pokemon are saying. So Lily finally managed to break the language barrier. Oh, the things I could do if I had that technology. Still, she entrusted you with her research. I can't imagine she would want you to hand it away so readily. So, what'll it be? I can pay you 100000 for it, or I can give you some rare and strong Pokemon from our lab, if you'd prefer. No, I suppose you made a promise to Lily, didn't you? How honorable of you. I can't fault you for that. Now leave us, please. We have important work to attend to, and you're interrupting our research. Oh, they forced me out. Oh, ho, ho. Very interesting indeed. This guy is obviously some kind of a villain. Like, clearly. We're gonna have to deal with that doucher later, I'm sure. What is over here? Is there really nothing over here? What the heck is this little alcove? Okay. Do do. Uh huh. Hi. I can't talk to you. Oh. Okay. Going somewhere? Yeah, I was. You got something to boss wants. Yeah, and we ain't gonna let you pass till the boss gets what he wants. I'm going to destroy you. Quick, take his pokeballs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Not so tough without your friends to fight for you. Oh yeah. These are the most intelligent people in the Pokemon universe. I'm being carried somewhere. It's hard to stay conscious. Dude, you saw four men in black suits standing, like, blocking the path. Why did I not, like, immediately take out one of my Pokemon? Like, Coatless should have been out immediately. Oh, look, you're awake. Lark Larkspur? I knew that you'd be powerless if I caught you by surprise. After all, what good is a trainer without their Pokemon? If you don't have them to defend you, you're just a poor, helpless child. That's a fair point, actually. Please understand, I never meant to cause you any harm, but I couldn't let you go with that valuable prototype, of course. I'll let you in on a little secret. Larkspur Research Industries has been underwater for quite a while. That's not surprising. I owe a significant sum of money to people that one doesn't want to be in debt to. But that will all change now that we've got that Pokemon speech, tran speech translator prototype. My scientists will reven- I wanted to say revenge engineer. Uh, we'll reverse engineer it and we'll start mass producing our own copies. We can use this technology to further our research into a machine that will let trainers suppress their Pokemon's will, making them obey without hesitation. Ah, that's just cold. This is like the beginning of the Pokemon Shadow initiative. I know of at least a few organizations who are promising to pay me very highly when this technology is complete. Now, be a good little kid and keep quiet. My scientists are examining the Pokemon Speech Translator as we speak. When they are done with their work, I'll let you go free. But we can't have you causing any trouble before then. If you do as you're told, we may even let you have your Pokemon back again. Although I'm sorely tempted to keep them for myself. Yo, you can have the Heralect and the Turlard, but I need those other four back. We could always use more specimens for our experiments. Oh, ho, ho. I can't wait to knock you on your stupid bald head. Like, you're going down, man. Watch me break out of here, fool. Water's cold, but I couldn't try uh, drinking it. It's small and grimy. I don't really want to use this. Who does? Uh, I guess there's nothing to do but try and sleep. Yeah, why not? Hey, you. Wake up. Here's some food. Eat. I'm about to mess this fool up. Oh, he's gone. You don't exactly feel hungry, huh? There's a note underneath the bread. I can't tell you who I am, but I just want you to know that I don't think what the professor is doing is right, kidnapping a child. Uh, it can't be- I can't be seen helping you out, though, so all I can do is tell you this. There's a structural weakness in your cell. If you check the wall behind your bed, it's very thin. One or two good thumps will do it. I won't lead you out- no, it won't lead you out, but maybe you'll find something helpful on the other side. The password is 092. Good luck. Alright, sweet. Password is 092. Uh, just like the note said, seems hollow. Let's do it. Oh, hello. What the heck? Garla, kid! I haven't seen you in ages. He seems to recognize you. Uh, yeah. Yo, I'm gonna let you out, and then you're gonna do your whole hero shtick, and, uh, help me get my Pokemon back. Let's do this. Password is 092, I think it said. Ah, here we go. Reports first. Oh my goodness. There's gonna be a lot of reading. Uh, time 332. Progress is going well on codename 092. The shell is made from radiation impervious biofiber. It will be able to reconstruct itself if damaged. What? 
Uh, the power core shipped from overseas will require a large amount of nuclear fuel to initialize. Once fully activated, it will be able to produce nearly limitless energy. Okay. Uh, the MRI detected anomalous brainwave patterns. The specimen should be incapable of independent thought. We are working on a suppressant. Ooh. It's becoming self-aware. Work on the interface was finalized today. Its operator will be able to assume full control of the specimen. Our chief researcher, Dr. XXXXXXX, has been granted clearance. Mm, they cut out the doctor name. It could either be Larkspur, the guy who kidnapped us, or maybe it's someone we know. Bambao, uh, my supposedly dead mother is a possibility. I don't know. Uh, there has been a breach of confidentiality. Henceforth, all reports shall be relocated to High Security Underground Servers. Project 092 may have, been, may have to be terminated. They have one more, though. Uh, Lab 02 and Codename 092 have been terminated. The radiation will keep the area isolated. Dr. XXX has been lost as well. Project 092 has been put on indefinite suspension. My mom was definitely the doctor. Undoubtedly. Do, do, do. I gotta enter the password again. Uh, archives. Uh, Professor Larkspur. Project 092 is coming along nicely. I'm especially impressed with the work of Dr. XXX. It's obviously my mother. I'm, I'm like 98% sure. The secrecy of this research is paramount and must not be compromised. Our patrons were very clear on this. Our financiers will pull our funding if just a word escapes this lab, which is why even many of the technicians are being kept in the dark. No one must know of this, not until codename 092 is ready anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. I can't believe this. After months of laboring in top secrecy, some imbecile leaked data on Project 092. The rangers came around today and demanded to search the lab. Of course, all related materials had since been moved to the island station, but there were still records. I fear that they may inform Interpol. I can't allow that to happen. It would ruin us. Our sponsors will have my head if they hear I allowed this leak to happen. We have poured endless research into 092, but if the Interpol gets involved, I may be forced to pull the plug. That's not good. Or maybe it is good. Oh, no, wait, this one says it's by the doctor. This could be my mom typing this. Just now, they informed me that they are aborting the 092 project. All of my months of work and breakthroughs up in smoke and ash, and 092 itself, they will destroy it. I cannot allow that. We built the interface to suppress its mental activity, but it didn't. Not completely. I can hear him sometimes. I think he can hear me, too, and he knows what they are planning. He's afraid. I'm afraid, too. What will become of both of us? Uh, this is Larkspur again. I remotely activated the termination sequence at Labo 2. It wasn't easy, but it had to be done. That dang Interpol officer got away, but he didn't find any evidence of the project, so they will have to close the case. Sounds like Looker might be in this game. It was a shame about Dr. XXX. She was starting to become a liability, though. Definitely my mother. She had grown too close to the specimen. It would have made it difficult to deliver to our sponsors. I will have to begin focusing energy into other projects. The research we did on the interface will be invaluable for our upcoming enhanced capture control project. Our sponsors will, eh, sponsors will want that as well. We will recover and move onwards. All right, I didn't mean to press that. My bad. We already read this. My mistake. This is uh, really interesting, though. Anyways, let's get Garla Kid out of here, I guess. Garla! There you go, man. Yep, it seems like he's sorry about the last time you fought. He's grateful that you rescued him and seems to want to come along. Oh! So now I've just got Garla Kid in my party. Yeah, he's level 50. Nice! He's grass fighting. Makes sense. Naughty nature. Doesn't surprise me. Uh, raises attack when hit by dark type, so he's got justified. Drain punch, mock punch, giga drain, leech seed. Is he... He's definitely more of a physical attacker, but he can work as a mixed attacker, I guess. All right, Garlic Kid, let's go. Garlic Kid is supposedly a legendary Pokemon, I think I was told. It's locked from the outside and won't budge no matter how hard you try. He seems disappointed. Yo, just knock the door down, man. Oh, I wonder if that door release thing unlocked my door as well. Okay. It looks like he's trying to pry the bars apart. Sweet. How come you can pry these bars? Yeah, he is a lot stronger than he looks. How come you can pry these open, but not your own? That's my question. Hey, what's happening? Hey, you, what are you doing out of your cell? And what is that thing you've got with you? Yeah, don't pay attention to it. Ah, would you look at this. I'm on quad weak to fighting. What was that cry? Get it, garlic kid. Easiest kill of my life. Garlic Kid looks so stupid. What is this thing? Dude, this is the gargoyle that we saw on the Opera House. Okay, it is weak to fighting. So it's rock or steel, maybe? One or the other? It's got iron defense. It's either rock or steel. It's not flying. It's not psychic. Not entirely sure what type it is, then. At least I know it's weak to fighting, if nothing else. Oof. Yeah, oof indeed. What's happening? What the heck? It's that kid and that Pokemon. How'd they get loose? Get him, Garlic Kid. Punch him in the mouth. Bring it on, dude. 
Jabberoo. Man, it's so good that all these, uh, all of these scientists have Pokemon that are weak to fighting type moves. Isn't that just convenient? Isn't that just convenient indeed? It lived. Why did it live? That's not okay. Don't you dare paralyze me. Good. I would have been mildly upset. I wonder if I get to keep Garlicid after this. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not gonna use him. Like, I'm not keeping this thing on my team. It's disgusting. Look at it. And I already have a grass type and a fighting type, both of which are cooler than this guy. Easiest kill of my life. Sucks to be that scientist. How's this Pokemon so strong? It's a legendary, man. Give me my Pokemon. I got my Pokedex bag and Pokeballs back. Nice. So it looks like Garlicid is just, like, not my party anymore. But honestly, that's fine. I'd rather have these Pokemon. Yo, what's up? Stop. Right. There. All my research. All the notes my assistants took on the Pokemon Speech Translator. That thing destroyed them all. But to ho ho, as long as I still have this, it doesn't matter. The PST. This will bring me a brand new future. I'm tired of treating you nicely just because you're a kid. This time, I will have no mercy. My Pokemon will destroy you and that meddling monstrosity. Let's go, fool. You stand no chance. You look horrible. Like, you're disgusting. Prepare to die. Let's do this, Glavenug. Show him who's boss. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, it did about as much as I expected. Dazzling Gleam? I honestly thought that would kill, and I'm a little upset that it did not. You know what? 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 I'm gonna live this takedown, and you're gonna kill yourself. What on earth is that? Its tail is a... No. 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 Look at this thing. It is disgusting. My lucky egg. This is the evolution of that stupid rat thing we saw in the city. Look at... Ugh. Ugh. Is it named after Rafiki? No. No. Not okay. Live this. Good. This thing is hideous. Look at it. Ugh. Yeah, go ahead and do it again, fool. Its attack stat is also garbage. Like, that crit didn't even kill me. I'm just gonna keep healing up till I'm back to full. Like, screw you, you stupid rat. Your crunches aren't gonna help you. This should get me back to full, shouldn't it? Yep. Nice. Awesome. Surf it. Bum bum. See you later, sucker. That rat is horrible. Ugh. Luchabra? That sounds like a fighting type. Uh, da, da 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 I guess my best option is gonna be Achilles. That isn't the fighting ground type, is it? I think it might be. Let's see. No, it is not. It's the poison fighting type. It's the Chupacabra. Alright, well, now I know. What was the name of the ground fighting type dog thing? I don't remember its name. Chew it. Easiest chew of my life. Get flame bodied, nerd. Um, by the way, Achilles tried to learn a move called Flame Impact. It was like 65 base power, 100 accuracy, but it was a priority move. But I didn't teach him it because uh, his special attack is better than his physical attack, isn't it? I think it is. Let me double check that. Yeah, see, my special attack is slightly better, and I also have looked at the stats for when he Mega Evolves. His Mega Evolution, it gets a lot more special attack. So, eventually I'll have Achilles' Mega Evolution, and then I'll only want special attack. So I didn't want Flame Impact. I considered replacing Extreme Speed with it, but I didn't want two Fire-type moves. Anyways, let's dig. Oh, it's tightening its focus? Good thing I'm gonna dodge. See you later, sucker. No focus punches for you. Get burned. Or get hurt by the burn. No! Oh, this thing's dead anyways. Who cares? See you later, sucker. What a nerd, am I right? Uh, Vilucard. What is Vilucard? Vilucard is that poison bat thing, isn't it? I think it is. Yes, it is. I know that this thing is not flying, so I'm gonna dig. Did just use an attack literally called Drain Life? Oh yeah, send out the poison type into my dig. Perfect. Take that, you nerd. Die to the burn. I think it'll just barely live. Yep. That's fine. E-speed kill. 
Take that. I love that Achilles knows extreme speed. I really do. Yep, and here comes the Bilu card. Is this your last Mon? I think it is. No, I think he has one more, actually. Okay. Ew, Giga Drain. You're not Grass Poison, are you? Nope, you're definitely Poison, either Pure Poison or Poison something that doesn't, uh, doesn't resist ground. Oh my, he crit me. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? I would have lived that if it weren't for the poison. Bloodlust? Ew. Uh... Well, crud. It has Giga Drain. And it's a poison type. I guess I gotta go into Barriette. I have Dig, don't I? Oh yeah, perfect. Also, Barriette has Cross Chop now instead of Seismic Toss. Poison Sting? Are you serious? Just... Just Poison Sting. The move with, like, base 15 power. You deserve to die. That crit should have never happened. Chainite? What? What on- Oh, this is the evolution of- Dude, this actually looks pretty sick. This is the evolution of that ghost chain thing that I saw in the labyrinth. Absolutely chewed it. Oh yeah, it is! Look, the green part of it is the little body- It's like- Dude, the Pokeball that it has chained to it got bigger, and then like, its body thing opened, a lock appeared on it, and then the dark- inside of it started to get out. That's really cool, actually. I like that. That is pretty sick. Is this thing go steel? I might try and catch this myself, actually. Because I do kind of look the look at this thing. Oh, no, not Cursed Body. Wait a minute. Faint Attack is neutral, so it must be Ghost Dark, then. So never mind. I don't want it. Because steel doesn't resist dark in this game. I'm pretty sure. Please die to this. Yeah, that's neutral. It's not steel. I lived still. I can't faint attack and it's ghost, so I can't use fighting type moves. This is getting so drawn out. If only I could Mega Evolve Barriette, I would have died even faster. Ah, I'm no longer disabled. Cool. See you later, sucker. Victory is mine. No, no, no! <laughs>